Yo, what's up YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Grotty Furia which was released with the Casino Heist DLC. Now as you saw as we pulled in, this is in the supercar category and this is going to cost you $2.7 million. So a very, very expensive vehicle but it is the only supercar from this DLC. And it being named the Grotty, I automatically assumed this was based on and solely on a Ferrari. But I consulted in the GTA wiki and according to the wiki, um, it's, it's a mismatch of a lot of different vehicles. We've got the Ferrari 488, uh, the SF90. We've got a Lamborghini Huracan in there as well. Bit of Aston Martin Vantage and with Cohen Seg as well. <laughs> so a lot of different supercars all mixed and matched and put together to make this Grotty Furia. And it does look pretty awesome, man. And you can see that, um, looking at it closely, that it does resemble all those different supercars. It definitely looks like a Cohen Seg from the side, 100%. And that front bit there, the front bumper, looks a bit like the Lamborghini. Um, but before I looked at this vehicle and I just heard the name grotty i just assumed it was going to be another ferrari lookalike but no i was pleasantly surprised rockstar has actually made a very nice looking vehicle in my opinion using all these different supercars lamborghini aston martin ferrari cohen seg and um i think it done a really nice job i think it looks awesome so without any further ado guys let's get into this and purchase 100 percent body armor brakes we're gonna get the race brakes for the bumper front bumper we do get to change it but it is just going to be a split change by the looks of it um which is understandable in nowadays because rockstar doesn't really give us actual customization bumpers on cars like these they just give us splitters unfortunately but it's true um I don't think it actually benefits from a spoiler. I think it makes it look a little bit weird. I think it definitely looks better without, so I'm going to stay none for the front bumper. The rear bumper, is it just going to be? Yes, it's just a diffuser change. And again, I don't think it benefits from any, you know, at all, really. Um, that one's actually not too bad, the primary fins. But do I want the... No, I don't want primary, though, do I? Because if I change the colour... They're going to change as well. Hmm. That might look okay, actually, though. I'm going to go primary fins because the colour I've got in mind actually might look quite good down there. So I'm going to go, yeah, primary fins for the rear bumper. We've got canards at the front. And uh, because I didn't purchase a splitter, I think these look even more strange than what they do with a splitter. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to stay none for those. The engine, we... Oh, we get to change the engine block, obviously, because we can see it. And it doesn't change much at all that's a shame we are going to go with the primary ones though why the fuck not then we've got the engine tunes we're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade and for the exhausts more options for exhaust than anything else the titanium are always a good good shout I think they look awesome uh, the same in aluminium and then the split and then the infinity the carbon oh what's happened oh oh wow I was not expecting that. The jet exhaust. Straight from the engine. Look at that. Like literally next to it. That's really fucking strange man. Don't know if I like that. Looks like a, uh, like a dolphin's blower hole. <laughs> yeah, not a fan. Those ones actually look alright, I suppose. But yeah, I think the traditional position for the exhaust is the best option. I'll go, go with the titanium. Then we've got the hood. We've got the carbon version. So it's not actually really changing much of the hood. It's just that small section. Um, we get the ridge line, the carbon version of that. The hoods. Uh, sorry, the um, the vented hoods. And then the carbon version of that. A more vented carbon inlet. We've got an instep, carbon instep. Uh, rally duct. Don't know why you'd have a rally duct on a supercar. Very odd. And then we've got the primary hood vents. They look quite good. They probably look the best out of all of them. Yeah, but I don't know, man. That actually looks quite nice. The ridge line. Let's go with that. What the hell not? Then we've got to go to the headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. And obviously we do get a livery, which is standard nowadays in GTA with these new vehicles. Um, I don't think every car suits a livery very limited amount of cars actually suit a livery um i'm just hoping that the yeah man what the fuck would you want to put this on your car you've got a multi-million pound 
or multi million dollar supercar and you go put this shit on there I highly doubt it they look really really tacky and bad definitely not my sort of thing so i'm going to stay none for the livery then we've got the mirrors and we get the primary mirrors and the secondary i'm going to go with the secondary for the mirrors so then we are going to go to the respray primary color and we're going to go classic and obviously we're going to go with red it's got to be done man it's a grotty man formula red there we go for the secondary color we're going to go classic also and i'm going to go with frost white so then we get an option of the roof we've got the primary color or the secondary color and there we are yeah so we've got secondary color as stock primary color or carbon i actually like it primary so i'm going to go primary color then we've got the side skirts so we can primary that up with a lip that actually looks quite nice or the secondary version of that um i think the uh, the grotty skirt actually looks really good but then the grotty skirt with a secondary yeah man we're gonna go with secondary grotty skirt suspension we're gonna get the street suspension transmission we're gonna get a race transmission and obviously we're gonna grab the turbo tuning now for the wheels i actually think they look really good from stock and i don't think there's any better uh, to choose from the aftermarket lot uh, that's something that i think rockstar should actually think about um, changing up and adding to is the selection of wheels that we've got uh, the last lot that we or the lot last new ones that we got was the Benny's wheels um, but they're only exclusive to Benny's vehicles which is a shame uh, maybe if Rockstar released the Benny's wheels so we could put them on all vehicles they would be really good or Rockstar could actually create a new category of wheels and give that to us as well that would also be awesome um, so as it is, a lot of these new vehicles, DLC vehicles are coming out with really nice unique wheels and a lot of them are a lot nicer than the aftermarket wheels that we've got to choose from. Um, so nine times out of 10, I'll keep the stock wheels on them, man. I think they look a lot nicer. So yeah, I'm not gonna change the wheels, but to finish up, I'm gonna go to the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint. So here we go, my dudes, as you're pulling outside into the sunlight, you can see the grotty Furia actually looks really nice in the color scheme i think yeah I, I definitely think that looks awesome red and white bit of black can't go wrong but um i think it looks awesome you know it is the only supercar released with this dlc um 2.7 million dollars it's a mix match of so many different supercars i think actually rockstar have done a really nice design job on it i think it looks pretty sweet hardly no well, next to no customization really not much in in the way of customization at all but you don't really come to expect that on supercars you know you don't really get a, a bumper change you don't even get a spoiler option on this one um, but driving it the acceleration actually seemed quite sluggish for a supercar but the top speed feels like it's going to get there it actually feels pretty solid and um, handling wise it feels pretty heavy because you expect to break a little bit and chuck it into a corner it should want to stick to that corner and get all the way around under um, heavy acceleration which it, it kind of does at least you can pull into the corner and, and put down your accelerator without it you're sort of like wanting to drift around the corner that's that's a definitely an upside but it doesn't seem to want to tuck into that corner which is the downfall um so you'll find that it does pull wide quite a lot um but other than that you know it's just a supercar man nothing special i'm not a massive fan of supercars in real life or in gta um obviously i appreciate their beauty appreciate their power but um yeah for me i'm just not really a you know supercar kind of guy but go out and buy it if you want 2.7 million dollars like me personally i don't think it's worth it i think you can get a lot better for a lot less in the game uh, and that's in the case of supercars as well i think the supercars which are under one million dollars in the game uh would, would arrive all this i don't think this is anything special um other than it's quite unique looking like i said rockstar done a pretty good design design on it so um yes yeah, nice looking for what it is um but it doesn't feel special you know so um i don't think it's worth it but your guys money you make your own mind up but anyway, guys, I'm going to end the video where it is. If you enjoyed, please smash that like button. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.